Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my 100th Mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, no, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 up front payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. There's no better feeling than a personal win. And the State Farm Personal Price Plan can help you do just that. Talk to a State Farm agent today to learn how you can bundle and save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. This is Ricey. You've been hearing my friend Josh Arnold, Mr. Money Talk, for years on the Radio and Garage Logic podcast. I strongly recommend you sit down with Josh for your no cost, no obligation, 48 minute consultation on your investments, including your IRA and 401k. You can benefit from Josh's years of experience navigating different market and economic conditions, and he'll always give you straight talk and not sugar coated advice. Give Josh a call now at 952-925-5608 to book your no cost no obligation 48 minute consultation that's 952-925-5608 you'll be glad that you did and tell him ricey sent you don't forget to ask why is it 48 minutes josh investment services offered by josh arnold investment consultant llc a security investment advisor past performance is no guarantee of future results all investments involve risk all comments and opinions are josh arnold's and do not constitute investment advice patrick ricey is a paid in Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, to all of this, we're only going to need it. Okay. Before we get into the great Viking performance, did you did you see that Rocco told his team they were unprofessional last yesterday after the really? game? And Who's going to tell threw, Rocco that he threw is? a bit of a tantrum. And I, my question is, if anybody rose their hand and said, hey, Rocco, how come you took Ober out of the game the other day? Why did he? I don't have any idea. Was he, he told to? No. Who was telling Who would nobody? tell him? They're not calling him on a cell phone, for God's sake. No, asking. that's him. Okay. That's him. 83 pitches, and he retired 15 in a row. And the bottom part of the order was coming up to the plate. And he gets an extra day before his next start because it would have been Thursday, except they don't play Thursday, so he's got till Friday. So there was no rational reason to take him out of the game. It's a shame because they're fading fast. Oh, God, they're fading. Well, their lineup is terrible right now. They got injuries, and they got just guys. Royce Lewis has gone from a superstar to an out, and uh, they— uh, What's wrong you know, with uh, Kepler? They Well, beyond the fact that he's been terrible for a while, he's got, I don't know, some leg. He's, he doesn't like baseball. Well, he, does Correa like play. baseball? Correa, we think he likes baseball, but I don't know what's going Does on. Does Buxton and, like baseball? Well, Buxton likes baseball. He's got a bad skeleton. That's his He problem. really does. He's got a bad skeleton, yeah. He's fastest guy that ever played baseball, but he's got a... I think okay, he, how about he plays and just slows down a little? <laughs> <laughs> I think people... You know, that's a good thought. I think yeah. People, yeah. people keep saying it's because he runs into the fence. He runs into the fence twice a year. It's other stuff. It's... Uh, you know, he, well, his hip is bothering him. Yes. and, and Okay, Mickey time, Mantle's hip bothered him. Let's go here. Well, that's the problem. They don't let him go now. Oh. If you wanted to play, you know, Mickey never went and had an MRI taken. I mean, it's the worst thing that happened to baseball. Yeah, I know. If Mick had, if they'd had an MRI machine, Mick would have played 60 games a year. Right. Max, so he had terrible knees, right. too, and hips right. and everything else. But you could also... You know, if you ran over in a gap and made a nice catch once in a while, you'd be fine. But these guys roam miles. To, but one of the great changes in baseball is outfield defense. How will they cover the gaps? Mm-hmm. Now, once in a while, you get a guy like Except Manny. for the White Sox. Say, yeah, except for the White Sox. Oh, but once God. in a while, you get Manny Margos, who get there and don't catch it, you mm-hmm. know, as 
as I use this, what Casey Stengel said about Ron Swoboda <laughs> when he was young, he leaps for him and they ain't, ain't there. there. Yeah, mm. right. So uh, <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know that Manny's a hack in the outfield, and uh, that which he's, I he's thought the reason down. they got him is he was a good outfielder. I don't know well, why I thought Mark, that. Mark Topkin from it's the, really yeah. a shame those guys are not in the lineup because they would have had a chance to at least be a strong wild card oh, potential. God. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're, they're only, still in the wild card right only, today, like, aren't they? Three yeah. and a half. They're uh, three in front of the M's, I believe. Right, the M's three or yeah. three and a half in front. But they get you got to have to win some games. Yeah, you, gotta, you, know, you got. Angels got the second worst record in the American League, yeah. and it would be very difficult to have the worst right. with the Mighty Whiteys. Right. Uh, but uh, who, by the way, won two out of three in Boston, I think. Really? Two out of three. Yeah. Someone tweeted out a photo recently of a game at whatever it was guaranteed when they were all rate. Running into each other. No, 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 no. It was the crowd. There uh, couldn't have been a hundred people at the game, really? and I'm not joking. And it said, "Thank God, you know they have the spinning deal when yeah. someone hits a home run." It said, yeah. "Thank God the electronics still work for these raving <laughs> fans." There was maybe a hundred people well, at the White Sox game. Wow! Uh, I will say that I was looking at baseball attendance last weekend, right? And Saturday, Sunday, even Monday when they played, nice crowds, thirty thousand. Tuesday, half of what yeah. it was the day before. Once the brats go back to school, man, people yep. stop coming to the games. You'll have this series with the Angels. They'll have 9,000 actual and announce about 14, I would think, for about the whole time this day. Because it's Trout playing? He's not playing, is he? He's not trained, playing. Plus, people, are, A, they don't go in September. B, they're mad. Yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah, except there's a C. The weather's perfect. Yes. It is a yeah, beautiful is, night oh to God, go to a ball it's game. It's gorgeous. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's getting terrific. better with through the week. It's going to be in the low 80s, right? I listened to the entirety of uh, the Yankees beating the Mets on Saturday uh, on the radio, mm -hmm. driving to Chicago. Okay. Uh, I love Pat Hughes. Oh, God, he is great. Yeah, he was. Never once did I learn if a player ever won a Lego championship in the sixth grade. <laughs> Wait, isn't Pat Hughes the Cubs guy? Yes. I said I listed the used Cubs to be Yankees. The oh, guy. I'm sorry. They yeah. said Yankees Mets. I'm used sorry. Used to be the Brewers guy. And he's got some. He's got some very dry humor. And he's got the Coombs. He's got Coombs. He's got Coombs, Coombs. Coombs, Coombs with him. Coombs is very popular and uh, very mediocre, but a great guy. Yeah. Everybody, everybody knows. They like Coom, yeah. you know. He's so. just he's a guy. He's a guy. Yeah. He is a Chicago but, guy, owns a restaurant and uh, But at one dude. point Coom said of a player, he's really excited and he he was says he'll get over it. <laughs> 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 yeah, he was just great. I think they just put him in the Hall of Fame a couple. Of, oh, really? The Mike Men uh, I, section of the Hall of Fame a I couple of years ago. Yeah. Forget who I was listening to. It was somebody national, maybe Dan Patrick or somebody, but he had Coomer on uh -huh. after they won the World Series. Yeah. And they played the clip, and Coom just basically said, I just stayed out of his way. Because, you uh -huh. know, he just said, this yeah. is his moment, right? Yeah. It was really, right. really cool yeah. listening to him talk about that when they won the series. Worst thing ever happened to the organization, though. They've been... Right. They've been they lost their as, charm. They've been boring as hell ever right. since. You That's know. why we can't win and the Super know, Bowl. <laughs> all these guys who called up and said they went and watched the game on their little oh, battery No, they went, to, they went to with, cemeteries. With their, yeah, with their dad's grave. And yeah. you, we don't believe that horse crap. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying. We know you're lying. You know, but you're getting to yourself a little pub for that. So, yeah. uh you know, why would you do that? Why not stay home and watch it on the big screen? Right. You know, I yeah. don't know. With replay, I mean, come on. Yes, yeah. Dad doesn't care. You know, Dad. Dad doesn't care. For God's sake. I but, saw the uh, well, site of that, the torn down Northwestern football stadium. Boy, I, if they were smart, they'd stay right where they are. They're yeah. right on a lake. Yeah, fifteen thousand seats. Ten feet. Yeah, that's enough for yeah. them. You know, as mediocre as they are, the the new field is great. Where Guess is what it? the tearing down of the stadium has oh. resulted in? We found some asbestos. No. No. Uh, uh, hold on. Rats. Hold on. Oh. Rats. Lots of rats. Oh. Everywhere in now the surrounding neighborhoods got a lot of rats. Oh, oh yeah. are the yeah. residents unhappy? Well, I'm sure they're and taking care wants, of it. Yeah. Nobody wants rats. You don't like a rat. No, you no. don't want rats. If we ever had a rat, <laughs> Katie would leave the house and never and return. Check into a hotel and say, 
Tell me when you moved, you know, <laughs> to a 12th floor of some condo. Is that when you would say, boy, if the rats are still here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't get rid of them. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm, I'm odd that I've never seen any rats. I don't Never? Think, no, I don't think not in our... A lot of raccoons running around and stuff like that, but I don't think we've seen a rat. That's why you we need a did cat. Have, we did have a couple of, well, we got the feral cats in the neighborhood. True. That might have something to do with it. So, Although I'd rather have rats than feral cats. Pat, I want entire credit for predicting years and years ago exactly what's happening in the NFL. Oh, yes. It's a reality TV show. Yes, and is. now you got the two wags, mm-hmm. Tay-Tay and Brittany. They're at odds. They're not because Br- Brittany's Mahomes a trumper. And his wife are a trumper, right? Now on Thursday night's game, they didn't sit together. No. But then they might have reconciled because they were all at the U.S. Open together. And I further predict that this this social life that Mahomes and Kelsey are leading mm-hmm. will be proved to be detrimental to their season. Well, well. They look uh, pretty damn good on they Thursday. They sneaked out another one on Thursday, yeah. Uh, and but, with uh, help from the officials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Wait, is Mahomes losing you? I thought he's your guy. No, I love him. Oh, I, okay. It's great. But I just think that uh, it's become too obvious that this is a reality TV show. <laughs> well, the uh, the Tyreek Hill, who you mentioned, right? Tyreek Hill. I, from my my, my, my opening scene would be, okay, I'd have Tay-Tay and Brittany, and then I'd... Cut to Miami, and Tyreek's uh, on the ground getting right, handcuffed. Yes, because he's a black guy driving fast. In Miami, yeah. And they don't know that, that it's Tyreek. Now the cop has been, like, put on administrative leave or something. Well, not because it was Tyreek. It was because he was beating him up. Mm-hmm. But Tyreek took it well. He caught he an 80-yard touchdown pass, and then had his— So he and—while they're out there playing, while the defense is out there, Tyreek's saying to him. Now, if I catch a touchdown, we'll put pass, the handcuffs. Pal, on yeah, come over. It's reality come over TV. And rest me in the yeah. end zone. Yeah, yeah. Then he scores from eighty yards out and uh, has the guy come over. The NFL, as funny as that was, and the fact that it'll be seen all over, they couldn't have approved it. Oh that. no, uh, they couldn't have approved. Now I don't know where he fits into my scheme, but I have a new favorite <laughs> NFL player. Who's that? David Montgomery. God, did he run? Holy mackerel! He was. Uh, he single handedly uh, got him the game. Ran it down the field. The whole field. Yes, I said every the same play thing. was him. Yeah. I said the same thing. If I'm, if I'm the Rams, I want a urine test. Oh well, my word! Good. I mean, if, now that that right tackle of theirs will knock the crap out of you too. Yeah, Sewell. he's a good player. But the guys, the guy just never was stopped. Possessed. He was. He, he was, was absolutely possessed and went down the field. And the Lions, by the way. The Lions aren't going to get it done with Jared Goff. No, nope, I think they already regret story. that contract. Yeah, they all regret their quarterback. They have, not as much as Cleveland resents oh. re- regrets signing Deshaun Watson to a fully guaranteed hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, you know, he can go buy his own massage parlors now, but uh, he's terrible. Yeah, he's not he's very terrible. good. Anyway, how do you think right. old Sam Darnold? Sam was pretty good. Yeah, Vikings looking. Listen. Who's been the optimist? You have been. Me, I have been the optimist. April 20th, I looked it up. I wrote a column saying Vikings win post win preseason because they got rid of the Kirk boy. They got rid of that $50 million, right? Yep. And they uh, got the best player in the draft, that Dallas Turner, the 15. He's going to be the, the uh, NFL Rookie of the Year on defense. Turner, he's a monster, and they they got rid of Daniel Hunter, Daniel Hunter. So they got three guys basically for the price of him, mm-hmm. who were all just as good as him. Yes, the Van Ginkle kid, the Van Ginkle. They got Turner, and they got what's it, Green Green? Oh, uh, Grenard. Grenard, Jonathan Grenard. Grenard, he's good too. Mm-hmm. And they got they got more options defensively. And Cashman, they got right Cashman. They got more options defensively, and uh, they're. You know, Darnold was... San Francisco's next. They ain't the Giants. Mm-hmm. But, the yes, but they're not as great as... They, they I suppose were. that they're, game's interesting tonight just to see how Rodgers does. San Francisco's missing their left tackle. Mm-hmm. Trent Williams, is he hurt? Like yeah, he's not playing. And contract dispute, too. And uh, 
and I, I think they I think he reported, but he wants money. And uh, they got the bad vibe. Is that what you're saying? The Niners? I'm just saying that they got they had to let some people go because they were way over the cap. And they they still got the mediocre quarterback. I'm not a Brock Purdy. Who fan. they're going to have to give forty million dollars to? I wouldn't give it to. Him. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. But uh, but who Purdy? Listen, yeah. In retrospect, the one of the greatest events. In Viking history, it was when they lost to Daniel Jones and the Giants here in the playoffs because it allowed them to get rid of Kirk. The poor Giants got stuck with this stiff because, uh, you know, they actually covered the receivers, which is something they didn't do when he played here. And it not having Kirk, they were allowed to, they were able to move up in the draft and get Turner and improve their defense. They won't have to pay the guy for, uh, and here's the good news. Now that we've seen Sam Darnold, we can trade J.J. McCarthy there we next, go. next spring. Next spring, we get a pretty good draft choice. I listened to the Giants-Vikings in its entirety on radio. Do, yeah. That was coming their back. Their broadcast or the Vikings? I got their broadcast. I didn't have lucky to lucky son of a gun. And, boy, they were a little different. They were saying yeah. things like, they don't look very good. <laughs> Well, did you see the unis? Yeah, I love those. See? I love those. I would have been embarrassed to go oh, out. Oh, I thought public. they were neat. I think part of their problem was they were embarrassed to go well, out. Well, they look like Charlie Brown sweaters. Yes, well, wasn't did. it a tribute to the yes, 100 years or whatever? Yeah. Okay. But that shows you what the NFL was when it started. You had to dress everybody like clowns yeah. to make it different than the yeah. NFL. It was nothing. It was nothing. College football was everything, it was sure. nothing. And, uh, but they, they said it, they uh, the theme of the announcers was the Vikings look ready for the regular season. The Giants are still playing a preseason game. That was their theory. Yeah, well, the quarterback is he's not very good. Who is no. it? Jones. Daniel, Daniel Jones. Jones. Daniel Jones. Was great when they beat him in the playoff game here two years ago, which was his last good game. But then they paid him. But why has the NFL decided? That every time a new quarterback signs, he's got to get more money than the last one. They gave Dak sixty. Mm-hmm. You know what is going and on? And that, by the way, that Dak, that was an extension on the sixty he's being paid this year. Yes. So why did they do it? I don't get it. I really. And they waited until two hours before kickoff to do Meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, old Zim, crush, crotchety oh. old Zim's defense looked pretty good. You know who's a they monster? They were knocking the crap out of those guys. Micah. Parsons is well, he a is, and monster. then they got the other guy, our guy, right? Lawrence, isn't that our guy? Lawrence, the linebacker. The oh, I, I, he didn't yeah. play for us, did he? Gopher, isn't he the Gopher? I don't, I don't know. Maybe oh, not. Maybe not. I, I don't know. PJ's club didn't have much of a problem with the Rams or whatever the how, hell their name is. <laughs> how big a humiliated jackass do you have to be? To crowd surf your team after you beat Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes. He, okay. You beat Iowa, do your deal. Yeah. You beat Rhode Island, just yeah. humbly walk off the field. Yeah. For God's sakes, St. Thomas and them would be a battle. Yeah. By the way, our Tommies fought back. After They're that. 0 2. Yeah, but after after getting humiliated by Division II Su Fu Ku. They played Northern Iowa and they gave them a good game. So nobody's been humiliated, Pat, like the Notre Dames. Oh my God! Holy man! Northern Would you Illinois. like to hear the Northern Illinois call yes. of the blocked field goal? I yes, hear it's pretty good. He's lining it up. Five seconds left. Then are you up? 16-14. 62 yarder. Snap, hold, Jeter's kick. It's blocked! It's blocked! It's blocked! Picked up by NIU! Picked up by NIU! The Huskies have done it! The Huskies with the biggest upset in NIU history! They come to South Bend, Indiana, and they knock off the number five team in the country! NIU history. What kind of history is that? I don't know! Jerry Kill coach there. You know, that's where we hired true from. They came in here and beat the living bejeebers out of, by the way, I believe Thomas Hammock, who coached Northern Illinois, was coaching, was a brew assistant. Really? When he was a, a brew assistant, I'm not sure he was still there in 2010, but the coach of NIU, when then Northern Illinois came in here and kicked the hell out of Brewster on a night game and... 
basically that told you that Brewster was going to get fired. That okay, two thousand ten. Because so. isn't uh, who was the one uh, offensive coordinator? Because Brew had a few of them. That's now the head coach. Is it Arizona? Uh, he replaced Brew when oh, Brew yeah, got fired. The, the Jed, Jed, Judd Fish. But even now at Washington. Or is he it Washington? Arizona, okay. Went to Washington. Okay, that's what NIU I thought. is in DeKalb, Illinois. Yes, it is. Yep. Coach Kill coached them, and uh, they they were a, pretty much a power there for a few years. Ron, who's a guy from Minnesota? A guy from uh, I think he was from Anoka. Coached them for a few years too. Northern Illinois after Killer maybe. After I can look it killer. up. I'm not sure. Then he went to Temple. Or they coached him from t- Ron somebody after that. That yeah. that call, by the way, reminded me of the Holy Cross Gophers. Oh, okay. the excitement in the kid's voice doing the mm. game. Yes, uh, that was one of my lower moments as a human being when we were at the NCAA <laughs> go- basketball and the Gophers lost the whole number one rated Gophers lost the Holy Cross and and they were saying, Ricey. What was a gopher score? I said, 4-3. Holy cross! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what years were you, were you looking at post, Jerry, at NIU? Post, Jerry. Dave Dorian? No. Not even Rod he, Carey? Rod Carey. Okay. Dave Dorian went to North Carolina where he might, North Carolina State, where he might still be. Okay. You know, after that, or Wake Forest or someplace down there. But, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was a noble victory, and Max Brosmer, the new quarterback, looked very comfortable against a Rhode Island team he'd played three times previously mm-hmm. when he was at New Hampshire. So, uh, who do they have next? They have Nevada. They paid uh, Rhode Island five hundred thousand to come here. I don't know if they sold five hundred thousand worth of tickets. But they pay. They're paying Nevada one point two million to come yep. here because well, Notre Dame what, paid NIU one point four. Yes, to wow. get beat. Yep. To get beat. Yes, that's the deal now. That uh, all these FCS mismatches, which are ridiculous, mm-hmm. are they do it to, for their programs to survive. So they, you know, they. Some of them play two money games instead of just one. But if you go play Alabama, you get over a million bucks. You know? I, they're playing Wisconsin this weekend? Yes. at, at uh, Who is? Alabama. Alabama, yeah. At Wisconsin? They're going to Madison. Yeah. And they is have Wisconsin a, paying Alabama? Well, they'll probably well, do they, a home-and-home, home, right? I think the Badgers go back there in two or three years. So they they probably give them something. But. Well, but you don't have to. They're two good teams. You don't pay them. No, no, but they got a home and home. It's not Alabama's not coming up here for nothing when they could be playing at home collecting okay. five million dollars in ticket money yeah. or something like that. So, but uh, Alabama had a very unimpressive opener though. Twenty-seven, thirteen. I didn't see their somebody, game. Somebody bad. They beat twenty-seven to thirteen or something. So, anyway, hmm. uh, but the Vikings. Meanwhile, the Packers. We're gonna be. We're supposed to fear the Packers this year. They're zero and one, and their quarterback got hurt. Looks like he got hurt badly. Badly, yeah. They said three weeks. It's gonna be more than three. When he comes back, they'll be about two and eight because they don't have a quarterback. So forget them. They're gone. And uh, the Bears looked awful. Mm -hmm. Caleb Williams. I watched some of it. Some of the most inaccurate passes you could ever hope to see. He so passed for 92 yards. They, I was monitoring the Fox pregame show, and they mm-hmm. did a little thing about him. And then they did some uh, studio stuff, and then they did some on-the-field stuff. And then they showed his um, painted fingernails, and oh, they right. panned back to the studio, and Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long are just saying, what in God's name is going on here? <laughs> did they say that? Or well, they... Terry said... He had the look of what? How did he phrase? He said, "Can you imagine if in 1975 I showed up to a Steeler game with painted fingernails?" <laughs> I thought Chuck Noll might not have approved. No, I don't think Chuck so. Chuck Noll might not have approved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he played with a guy like a guy with play painted fingernails. He was terrible. <laughs> yeah, he was brutal. I yeah, I didn't see a lot. So of it's that. the Lions and the Vikings. Yep. And the Lions, we got a better quarterback. Yeah. But the Lions, that Campbell, he doesn't, I don't think he gets much sleep before or after a game, do you? He you think he's a little, a little wired? He's a little, a little bit wired. He would say, yeah. like, 
this the whole time. You see, he's now got a commercial. Yes. Which isn't a bad commercial. Apple, oh, he does. The Applebee's he, commercial. He yeah. does pretty it funny. well. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty funny. It's bad, like yeah. you know, covering up the mouth for the <laughs> for the thing. It's it's pretty good. Aren't we at a time when we should be hearing about the wild reporting to camp? Pretty deep. It's September yeah, tenth tomorrow. Next Where week? are they? Yeah. I think this week. Isn't it? The I don't know. That's why I'm mentioning I it. It was the thirteenth and the fourteenth, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, Joe, you're not hearing about because we got Viking fever. We do have the fever now. <laughs> One but, and uh, all, baby. But uh, I, I don't know when it is. One of these days. I mean, Bill and I, Bill and I and Craig went out for dinner together. I should know, but I can't remember. Right? <laughs> but, yeah. Do you want to work in the pause? Sure. Okay. We need to hear from your friends at the Valley Group of GM dealers, sir. Well, I'm very proud to do that. Boy, the oh, com- wait a minute, Joe. Uh, a first occurred uh, a week ago Monday. We're doing Monday on Monday. Well, that too. I got to go on a Roycey walk in the convertible that oh, he got right. from the Valley yeah. Grove. Yeah, yeah. Not, not a very long one. No, it was a it was a short walk. Is this when he told short. him to back in? He said, "I don't back in well." <laughs> no, I don't back. In. Why don't you can't back. turn your head or what? I don't know. I just when I look in the mirror, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know what it's you telling can't do me. Do it by mirror. You got to yeah, turn yeah. around. I yeah. don't back in well. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not back no, in. I don't back in. <laughs> Plus. Now, this has got nothing to do with Jim Paul and Brett Paul. They might actually believe in it. But all these guys who now go to the uh, Twins games yeah. and they're in the, in the ramp there, Oh yeah, oh, they all we like to back, back in. in. Yeah. You got to like, oh, okay, bleeper. Uh, yeah. Let's, <laughs> they're oh, showing off. Show me they? how good a backer <laughs> inner you are. Oh, hey, when I, when I, you know what? I know what you do when there's a snow in the forecast. You pop up your oh, windshield yeah. They're wipers. definitely got the Their wipers off. Their windshield wiper popper uppers. I don't think Put you in. should be mad at those people. I, I, I just I, don't I, understand I'm that. They just want to pretend like they're smart. In the fact, guy who backs in, and the guy with the windshield wipers, they are announcing to the world, I'm smarter than you. Joe, in fact, every year, I, Patrick I, I, gets a text from me, and it's the first time first I see a Hubbard employee a with the wipers up. I said, it's the season, baby. Yes. I said it to Patrick. You know who's a big popper, wind wiper pop? Ross. Oh, Roscoe. it's Roscoe. He strikes me Ros- as a wiper Ros- popper. Is. <laughs> Roscoe is a yeah. wiper popper. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. He's a wiper popper. But listen. Hey. Jim Paul I don't think Brett there's Brett. anything wrong with it. Neither was Jim Paul. <laughs> Jim Paul and Brett Paul, window wiper popper or not, go on out to Jim Paul's in Apple Valley and Hastings, Buick's. Four different kinds of SUVs. A station wagon. Now, what are we calling the station wagon? Do you know? You know what the name of it is? I don't know what it is. But the, you're, you're, you're assured said, me it's gorgeous. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, I neat, thought for neat, a, that it, at first glance it looks like a Mercedes wagon. Neatly little, a neat yeah. little vehicle. Then we also have the big honking Sierra GMC heavy-duty trucks. All that good stuff. Factory rebates now, low interest rates, and perfect shopping weather. Thank goodness the last 10 days have been beautiful. I'm get it for you. And uh, Hastings and Apple Valley, my guy's in Apple Valley. And, hey, the convertible, don't, still don't going strong. Yet. I'm going to get Still it. going yes, strong. 2019, that car is. Still going strong. I went up to, I went up to Collegeville the other day, hour and five minutes with a stop. Just going great. So I think uh, they're the Regal. And the Regal. No, the Regal wagon. Regal wagon. I'm the talking Regal. about the wagon. The Regal I Regal think it's wagon. Because my uh, my convertible is a Regal that's got a different name because it's a convertible. So, oh, but wait the Regal. Minute. I'm looking at used ones. No, I don't want to use <laughs> no new new wagon. Jim Paul, Brett Paul, Valley Group of GM Dealers, new wagon. Buick, come on, we I'm can do it. I'm doing it as fast as I can. can. Okay, all right. This is now hang with Who us. Who else here. should we insult before we Joe finds information? <laughs> Windshield poppers. The wiper popper. <laughs> I'm not finding it. Okay. It's a neat car. Neat car. Okay. Go, go out and say, it, Jim Paul, give me one of those neat station right, wagons. See, Let me Joe see says one of those neat, neat wagons. Neat they wagon. don't know what the hell it is, yeah, but they, uh, want, they one. want one. <laughs> Jim Paul, Brett Paul, Valley Group of GM Dealers, Apple Valley and Hastings. Go for it. Okay. 
If you're like me, your fantasy football team's already in the tank, a big nothing burger in the win column, and that's why I'm joining the millions of other fans who are winning money on underdog fantasy. You can win up to a thousand times your money just by choosing higher or lower on your favorite player's stats. Will Sam Darnold have higher or lower one and a half interceptions? You can make money on that. Making picks on underdog is straightforward, and signing up is even easier. Just head over to underdog simple to use mobile app or underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with promo code Roycey, and underdog will give you a free pick to use on your first cash pick em entry plus up to $1,000 in bonus cash when you deposit. That's Underdog Fantasy, promo code Roycey to claim your new customer special of a free pick and your deposit offer. Must be 18 plus, 19 plus Alabama and Nebraska, 19 plus in Colorado for some games, 21 plus Massachusetts and Arizona, and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Void in Colorado. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.ncpgambling.org. Arizona, 1-800-NEXT-STEP, 1-800-639-8783, or text Next Step to 53342. New York, call the 24-7 HOPE line at 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope ny 467369 Everything you learned in history class was a lie. Well, maybe not everything, but they skipped the best parts. Introducing Stupiracy, where stupidity meets conspiracy. Ever heard of the Olympic marathon that nearly killed its runners? Or the time a pope put another pope's corpse on trial? Join me, Scott Rizzuto, and Tim McKernan as we uncover the most outrageous historical moments and mind-blowing conspiracies you won't believe actually happened. Tune in to Stupiracy for your weekly dose of historical absurdity. Available wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, history is dumb, but laughing at it is smart. So, Reavers, you went to see the Jordan Hubman football game on a gorgeous night, right? Uh, Thursday, no, that would have been a week ago Thursday, but I took in the Mankato was, State was, game on Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday, you said a nice crowd. Oh, my the, God, uh, it was your packed. Mavericks, your Mavericks rallied to win, right? They at did. The end of Bemidji, a great game. The best, though, is when you, so I usually park, over towards where the baseball mm-hmm. field is, then yeah. I just walk up the sidewalk there because, um, and especially if I have the boys with me. But I, we we walked in, and you know the little hill on the open side of the yeah, end zone away from campus. Up, just sat there. There was nowhere to stand because that's really? usually where I stand with the boys because they like chasing the extra points and stuff when they when they kick the ball. But there, I could not believe the crowd. It wow. was. Packed. I'm telling you, nobody wants to stay home anymore. Right. Last I was, you know, the going to Jordan on Sunday. Last Sunday, every I'm going to Jordan. Every three out of every five cars turn into that Renaissance Festival going down there. Then they go to the they candy store. They got two hundred twenty-five thousand people at the fair. What? Stay home, watch TV once in a while. What's wrong with you people? Hey, does the NFL have bye weeks anymore? Oh, yes, yeah. everybody's got a bye week. Well, there's no bye week this week. They don't well, start they, till they, week They don't four. make anybody take their bye this early oh. in the year, but but they... Okay. You know, what you want is the late bye so you can get healthy for the playoffs. In fact, Joe, you ready to add to your uh, reality television show? Yeah. You know, there are some teams that say they are disrespected. When they get their bye week early. Too early. They don't really? believe in us. Really? No one By believes the way, in us. Why were you ripping the Bears? They won. Yes. But they were down. Defensive touchdowns. They were they down 17 they, they to nothing. They returned a kick and they scored on an interception. They won. They beat Offensive. Tennessee. Look at their offensive stat. Well, I, I'm, I don't really care. I'm just Look at their <laughs> pointing guy, out yeah. that. The guy passed the rookie, the greatest rookie in history with the new fingernail, with the painted fingernails. Pass for 92 yards. 14 of 29 for 92 yards. That is not good. You know what you won't have? You won't have a good QB rating with that. No. Oh, you got to have a good QB rating. Our guy was 113. Yep. Kirky Boy was 59, and Caleb Williams was 55.7. And the thing is, someone had pointed this out. I mean, Pittsburgh's got a pretty good defense. Yes. But when you don't have... Justin Jefferson to throw to, and you don't have Stephon Diggs to throw to, your numbers can go down a little bit. I turned on Kirky's game, and I'm not lying. The first play, so eight seconds after I turn it on, he throws an interception from me to you. You're kidding. There's a guy about five yards away from him, and he flips him the ball. And I chuckled. <laughs> I, I, I admit it. I chuckled. You chuckled. I chuckled. Did you tweet? Where are all you Kirk Obos now? Yeah, well, kind of like that. Okay. 18-10, yeah, they lost to Pittsburgh. Yes. 
And Pittsburgh is uh, mediocre offensively. but Well, because uh, Fields had to play because yeah, Wilson's hurt, right? He was okay. He was, they, I didn't they see should much. be playing him anyway. I, I, I did so not too. hear any of Brady in the announcing booth. Yeah. He wasn't getting rave reviews. No. He isn't going to be controversial. Is his no, that's the problem. He doesn't really say much. Although, Collinsworth last night. Mm-hmm. Collinsworth at the end when the... Lions have to score a touchdown to win the game. Talks about, well, they'll just get it in position here now. And, you know, they just, they don't have, they can just be in position now. And Tarico must have looked at him like he was an idiot. And then the, somebody in his ear said, of course, they do have to score a touchdown. But he was, right. He was thinking it was five years ago and you could still kick the field goal to win the game. Which yeah. was, the rule changed when the Vikings lost to the... Yeah, so it's been since 2010. Yeah, yeah 2010. You score a touchdown, you win. Yep. You kick yep. a field goal, the other team gets a chance. Yes. yes. Yeah. And people think it's unfair now that they went down and scored a touchdown. Who's? I bet the percentages of touchdowns scored on the first... on the. On the possession is well under 50%. You want to save some and, time in your league? Yeah, but here's the deal, Joe. Then, if, if you're playing defense and you stop them, you can win it with a field goal. Yep. Right? How many so, kickoffs were run back yesterday? None. Then just start the th- put it's, there and let's I, go. I know. It's the same. We got our whole new system this now. This is ridiculous. And these guys, <laughs> you know, about... Every once in a while, they make these start these half-hearted runs, even though the guy's catching it in the eight yards back and he ain't going to run it out. It's stupid. It is stupid. But how many? I bet we didn't have five percent run back. You're Did probably we, right. I I watched a little bit. I, and saw, I didn't see a single just, one. Yeah. You're right. If it, you know, hey, it's football. Mm-hmm. People are supposed to get hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> what, if, what? Did they figured putting it on the twenty-five or the thirty would cause? See, that's Jeez. another thing about my reality TV show. Give Wait till Tay Tay realizes her guy's going to get, he's going to be think the moon's a bowl of spaghetti in about two years. Sure. Because he's had nothing Kelsey? but concussions, hasn't he? That ain't going to last. For huh? Jeez, I don't think so last. either. I, you know, plus you got that brother in law. You'd have to put up with the brother in law. You know, who's a moron. Not wearing a shirt. Yeah. yeah chugging right. beers. Jumping yeah. out of the suite. Oh, God, it was yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unreal. I didn't watch much of them, so I, did, I didn't see much of that game. But, but there's something off on the whole deal. There's just a... a Your senses are up? Well, is she the I Yoko Ono of the Chiefs? I think she's getting to the point where she's got to be... What is she, 37 or 8? No, she, I think yeah. she's a little bit younger than that. Yeah, but if she but wants, in her mid-30s. But if she wants to pop out a little Swifty, she's going to have to get at it here pretty quick. I right? suppose, yeah. And it doesn't look good if you're just one of those lazy moms and have a surrogate or something, you know. <laughs> one of those lazy moms. <laughs> no, I'm not saying if you can't have a baby. No, it's not what he's not saying. That's not what you're saying. saying. Not what I'm he's saying. saying if you if you don't want to go through the hard work of having a baby. Because, you know what? Well, we know what you're I, saying. I've never thought it was easy. Right. I never, I never thought, claimed it was. I never thought it was easy. No. I don't know. I don't know why they do put up with it. I really don't. <laughs> After you have one, I just, that's enough. You know. None, no more of that. <laughs> no more than that. Let's <laughs> let's go get a free one someplace. You know. <laughs> You know, thank God you're not going to be at the at the debate tomorrow. <laughs> that would have been a good response. Yes. <laughs> well, that'll be a great debate tomorrow because they're gonna they're just gonna sit there and insult each other the whole time. <laughs> yeah, unreal. Why don't you ask Patrick your question that you asked the crew earlier? Will Trump <laughs> be civil? No, I don't think he's capable. No, of it. I don't either. I don't either. But it'd be interesting. He could reveal himself. I think, I think he's going to win. The more I see it, you know, he's done everything humanly possible <laughs> to lose. To have American hate him, <laughs> and he keeps moving up in the polls. It's <laughs> unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He's done everything imaginable, and he's, it's like you know, I mean, God Almighty. See, we were talking about this. He's a contrarian. Yes, he so is. So his people. Should say 
Go out there and be the worst you've ever been. Yes. Be as rotten as you possibly yeah. can be. Then he'll go out and be nice. Yeah, and no one will know what to think. If he goes out and but if he goes out there and he's nice, that's not serving his purpose. You know, he's got to insult her and blame her for, you know, people getting killed in Afghanistan and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hey, that 14-year-old's daddy was a hell of a guy, wasn't well, he? he? Buying him a AK-15. Maybe it's a bad sign when you name a kid after a gun. Yeah, and you then know. you buy him one. Then you buy after, him after a weapon. you lie about it and say, well, we only had hunting guns. Yeah. You know. Well, uh, dad's going to jail. Good. Yeah, I think parents, should, that'll straighten things out, I think, once these parents start going to jail. Good spot for him. Yeah. Mom, too, might end up in jail. Really? Well, she's got a record longer than you know, your oh, arm. Wow. Yeah. Well, fourteen. That's a. Yep. That's a little. That's a little young. Unbelievable. Well, All that's right. a hell of a note to end it yes, on. Yeah, it? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, enjoy the debate. <laughs> enjoy the debate. <laughs> as, as this is. So these are the finalists. Huh? Okay. Good yeah. enough. <laughs> I still think the only thing she's got going for is that Robert Kennedy endorsed Trump. <laughs> you know, this guy, Trump should have kept him in the race because he would have, I mean, like, you can always contrast yourself to, hey, I'm not so bad. Look at this moron, you know. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. He's, he's unbelievable. Hey, Robert, show us that diary that you had of... Uh, Sexual conquest, will you? That'd, that'd be good. The guy killed a bear and moved it to Central Park. <laughs> ah, it's a great political world we yeah, live in. Yeah, it is. What yeah. the hell? All right. What a week here. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. This is Ricey for the Canopy Group. Your kids are back in school, and when they get home, they do their homework uh, some of the time. So why aren't you doing your homework? You have been with that same home and auto insurance company that has only one agent who represents only one insurance company. That's why. You deserve more. Get options. The Canopy Group provides you with 16 options, not just one company. Don't tell your kids, but you can outsource your homework to the Canopy Group. They will find the best insurance coverage for the best price. Visit thecanopygroup.com and let them do the homework for you.